Hello everyone! Today I am excited because today we are going to be opening a new musket. This is from Hamid Pezre, uh, if you know him. Uh, he sells under Pezre Handicrafts from Turkey and he has just shipped me an excellent, hopefully, hopefully excellent, we will see, piece of his work. So let's start opening it and you will see what's inside. Now I ordered this ordered this gun from him uh about less less than a year ago. Uh oh, sometime last year. And this piece This piece is the lock. Now this is what is um, usually called a miquillet lock, miquillet, although it's not entirely accurate. I would probably call it a Turkish flintlock. Turkish flintlock would, in my opinion, be the most correct way of describing it. Um, now it's a lot like a traditional, or I guess a French flintlock, which is what we normally know about. Um, but there's some small differences. And... Uh, I'm not going to play with it right now. We're just going to look at it. Although, oh. Uh, all right. We got one of the screws got a little bent or something. I don't know. And, uh, you know, they're also sometimes called patilla locks. Um, I think that that refers to the, uh, uh, the grooves on the strike face. Now, this lock goes outside um, on the exterior of the musket, which is one of the differences from a French flintlock, where the lock is entirely inside the musket, in the inlet. Uh, it also has a uh, horizontal sear. Uh, you could see, yeah, this will be the horizontal uh, sear, um, as contrasted with most flintlocks, which have a vertical sear. And he included a little, little flint in there, so. All right. I will not be playing with it or testing it out now, but this is nice to look at. I'm going to set this aside and move on to the next package. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Okay. Those will be the um, the bands for the barrel to attach the barrel to the stock. And here we got a couple screws. This looks like, uh, oh, this might be brass. Light, light color of brass. All right. Now, I will say that from what I've seen of uh, Hamid, uh, Mr. Pezre, and having talked with him, he does seem like he really... Uh, makes things as close to historically accurate as he can. Mm. All right. Oh. Yep. And this is the stock. Wow. <laughs> Get this open. Carefully. So this is based on a, this is basically a Caucasian, Caucasian uh, um, smoothbore musket. Um, from the 1600s, 1700s, um, even the 1800s, they kept using these well into the 1800s. Um, so it can work for a long time period. Um, oof. 
and the stock is actually um, leather. I mean, it's wood, but it's uh, lined, covered with leather. That is the that is apparently the historical way that they did it. And it does look looks like a very nice, rich, dark color. Now this is a um, button trigger, which is common to Caucasian and Ottoman guns of the period. Hamid might be the only person in the world who actually makes these from scratch. I know there are a few people, like there's one guy in Bulgaria who does very nice restorations um, of old pieces. But in terms of actually making one of these Caucasian guns, I don't know of anybody else who does these. I wonder what this is for. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's anything else in here? Oh, yeah, there is. Oh. Eh, this is gonna be the little thing at the end of the buttstock, I guess. I suppose this will go like. Oh, like this. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. Oh, and this screw must be for... That's what the screw is for. And now... All right, now this is the thing I'm a little bit worried about. Um, this right here... I don't know. Looks a little bit... Might be a little bit bent. So we're going to take this out, take the barrel out, and we are going to... Uh, see, if, see if the tang will fit the stock, or if it's unfortunately been... Bent and shipping. We're gonna we're gonna hope for the best here. Okay. I think it just slipped out because here from one corner to the other. Okay, so the barrel fit, but it must have poked, poked through. Okay, during the long journey from Turkey to my my secret secret lair. All right, um, I don't know, boys and girls, what do you think about this? This is hard work. This barrel has a bore of 0. 0.63 inches. And the length is... Oh, I don't remember. It's a little over a meter. It's like 108 centimeters or something. Here's the ramrod. Oh, okay. Focus. And see how well this fits. Hmm. 
think it's not supposed to do that. It looks like the rear end is as the rear end of the tang is as far as far down as it can go. Seems like this got bent in shipping. Okay, well I will have to uh, see what can be done about that. The tang should screw out of the barrel, right? So I just need a new a new tang. I need to screw this out and get a replacement tang and screw that one in. After that, I hope this will all come together nicely. I hope. Now this ramrod yeah, it looks almost perfectly straight. We do need to have a chat with uh, Mr. Pezzeray about getting a new, new tang, or maybe actually maybe just bend it back. And it back into shape. I don't know. I don't want to do something unsafe. But either way, we'll figure it out. And then, I promise, eventually, we will get a working Caucasian flintlock. There will be lots more cool content featuring this awesome gun. This very underappreciated uh, type of firearm. That's all for now, I guess. I will talk to you later.